excited kids. Hey guys, it's Jennifer and today I'm bringing you guys another 10 things you are doing wrong video. I did this a while back, like last year I believe, and if you're an OG subscriber, you will remember this video. Basically, I'm just going to show you guys life hacks that will make you facepalm because they definitely made me feel like I was so dumb for not knowing them earlier. Some of them are not necessarily things that you're doing wrong, but things that you could be doing better. I really, really tried to find life hacks that people have never done before because we gotta be more original. So I really hope that you guys learn something from this video. If you do, make sure the police car's outside. Make sure to like it, not just emotionally. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and you like my videos. Anyway, without further ado, let's get started. The first thing you could be doing wrong is hanging your sweaters. So I usually hang my sweaters like this, and the problem with that is that it can stretch out your sweater really badly, and it might cause dents in your shoulders because that's where the hangers stop. So a way to fix that is to fold it like this, and then you want to place it on the hanger like this, and then you want to put one flap over and then the other flap over and this way your sweater won't stretch out and it'll be in great shape. This next life hack is for Snapchat and I don't know if I'm just really dumb and I just never figured this out but instead of tapping randomly on the screen to pull up the text bar and then typing it in and then placing it where you want, what you can actually do is tap where you want the text to be and then once you're done typing it'll just go automatically to the place that you originally tapped so that you don't have to move it around after you're finished typing if that makes any sense. I don't know if like this is a common thing that everybody knows but I just thought it might be useful. The next thing you might be doing wrong is washing your clothes the bright side out. This I actually learned from my mom. So what you should be doing is flipping all of your clothes inside out and washing it that way. Okay, here's the logic behind that. So if you think about it, the inside of your clothes is where your sweat and your grime and all your grossness is coming off onto. And that's the part of the clothing that's gonna touch your body again. I know it takes a longer time, but yeah, that's just a tip that I learned from my mom and it just, it makes so much sense. I know, we have all struggled with knots that we can untie from plastic bags. Everybody has probably done this before. What you can actually do is take the end that's sticking out and twist it and keep twisting it until you have this really stiff thing that you can push. So once it's really stiff, you can just push it through and you have untied the knot. Okay, this next hack I saw on Pinterest and I thought it was genius. So you know those little white bags inside of food packets or like new purses or like new backpacks, that kind of thing? That stuff is to actually drain out all of the moisture. So you know that method where people put their phone into rice if they drop their phone into water? This is a much better life hack because this little packet is literally made to absorb water. What you can do is take an airtight container, like a Ziploc bag, put your phone inside, and then put the little packet inside and leave it there for a couple of hours. That will take all the water out. Boom, your phone is fixed. This next hack is for all you people using YouTube, aka everyone watching this video right now. You know how sometimes when you try to pause the video and you press the space bar and it like zooms you all the way down the page and you're just like, no, when have I ever wanted to use the spacebar to zoom all the way down the comment section? Never. So what you can do instead of using the spacebar because I find it very unreliable is to use the letter K. That's it. Just press K next time you want to pause and works every time. So if you've ever had a splinter, you will know the struggle of trying to get the little tiny splinter out of your body. I usually just like pick it out or like use a needle or like use tweezers or something to get it out and that usually ends up being very very painful. What you can actually do is like take a little shot glass or take a jar, fill it up with warm to hot water and place the part with the splinter on top of the container. Leave it there for a couple of minutes. It'll create kind of like a suction and and then it'll also steam up the area with the splinter so that your pores kind of like open up and your skin will be softer and it'll be a lot easier for you to just pop that splinter out of there. So this next thing might seem a little bit gross but when you're doing the business
this in the bathroom and you're about to flush, don't just flush it right away. When you flush the toilet, where do you think all of that bacteria and grossness is going? Literally everywhere because the little water particles don't just stay right inside the bowl. Even if you don't feel it, like there's little particles like flying everywhere. So make sure to put the lid down before you flush so that everything stays inside. I don't know about you guys, but there have been times when I have accidentally sent out emails and it's not a great time. One way to avoid that is just to not put the recipient in the two bar initially. Finish writing up your email and then check it over and then put the recipient in and that way you will never send a wrong email. And the last thing you might be doing wrong is just shoving your plastic bags into like a drawer or something. That just builds up really quickly and it takes up so much space. One way to avoid that is to fold up your plastic bags. This doesn't take very long at all and it saves so much space. So what you want to do is flatten out your bag and then fold it up and then you just want to fold the bottom corner into a triangle and then you just keep folding over the triangle until you have one giant triangle and then you just tuck the ends in yeah it's just a very very compact bag so those are all of the things that you might be doing wrong. Hopefully you guys learned something from this video. If you did, thumbs up as always. Subscribe. I will see you guys next time. Bye!